All right, Nick, let's talk about the Texas Longhorns. This is a team that has been making some moves this past offseason and for future offseasons, but this is a kind of move, Nick, that is a domino effect. The first one fell, and now it seems like every week one more, one more, and one more keep coming behind it, and I think the Texas fans are going to love this news. My as I agree, Coach Sark and company has done a great job. But before we get into that report, Texas Longhorn fans, look, we hear you guys in the comments and a lot of the other videos we do for Texas. You guys are really plugged in. You know your stuff. And that's why we're really curious in the comment section below this time. Give us your most interesting under the radar take of the Texas Longhorns right now. You know, you guys know your stuff. You guys are the experts. We love hearing from you. So make sure in the comment section below, you give us your most interesting and most insightful take or opinion on the Texas football program as it sits today. All right, Miles, what you got? What's the latest out of Austin? Yeah, Nick, we talk about this all the time. In any of our videos, you go check it out. We talk about how good recruiting is to get good recruiting because A players want to play with A players. And that is the case at Texas, Nick. Because you look, they have the five-star quarterback, Quinn Ewers, who is now leading the charge at Texas. He has been very, very good. They have Malik Murphy, who has been also very, very good. They have five-star QB for this 2023 class, Arch Manning, really good. For 2024, they have four-star quarterback Trey Owens, and now in the 2025 class, already early on, four-star quarterback K.J. Lacey has committed to be a Texas Longhorn Nick. This is huge news because this is showing that Texas is now becoming almost QBU. They're getting big-time quarterback after big-time quarterback, and this roster is now potentially loaded for the next three, four, five years, Nick. And I'm going to get into the article here right now. This is a uh, tweet from over at Hayes Fawcett on Twitter. A lot of great recruiting college football news. So go give them a follow if you want to keep up to date on the recruiting world of college football. So it says, Nick, Elite 2025 QB KJ Lacey tells me he has committed to Texas. The six foot one, 180 pound QB from Sarah Land, Alabama, Chose the Longhorns over Alabama, Auburn, Tennessee, and others. He is ranked as the number five quarterback in the 25 class. Now, Nick, there's a lot of reasons why this is a big move. We talk about that now QB pipeline that has opened up in Texas. They have taken one of the top quarterbacks in the country out of Alabama's own backyard, a team they're battling with consistently and will be facing against very soon when they make their move to the SEC. Nick, and this is just overall a very big recruiting win for Texas, showing that the best of the best players are now going to want to come play for Sarkeesian and Co. I'm excited about this move, Nick, but I want to hear what are your thoughts on this and what does this mean for Texas? So one of the things we've talked about a lot this offseason in college football, and you mentioned one of them, good recruiting begets better recruiting, right? You bring in good players, good players want to play with good players, good players want to play on those good teams, and the cycle just becomes a great feedback loop, and you become a longtime contender. But the other thing we've been talking about, Mize, is the shift of college football from sort of the old school college landscape and the college mentality to the NFL mentality. And we see it, of course, Sarkeesian does have that NFL experience. But what we mean by that is that college football is more and more focused focus now more than ever about being really good at the quarterback position and everything else is secondary. All that you really need to be a successful program and, be, and by successful, I mean like top 15, top 20, top 25 relevant is to be really good at quarterback position. You obviously need to have the other positions to round out your roster, but if you can be good there, you can be a solid football team. You can win nine, 10 games. You can go to quality bowl games. You can keep that good recruiting pipeline going. That's what a lot of smart programs are recognizing is that the quarterback position matters more than anybody else. And to understand that and to execute on that in their recruiting game is a great sign for this Texas Longhorns program. Because as that landscape is shifted, we're starting to see all these other schools going to that as well. Ohio State's trying to go after 5 million quarterback recruits of their own right. We know Tennessee, they're stacked at quarterback position, and they're going after big-time recruits. You go out to uh, what uh, Southern Cal, what, um, what Lincoln Riley is doing there, a very similar thing. So it's become even more competitive in the recruiting landscape for the quarterback position. And the fact that Texas is able to get commitments from guys like this at this point from, like you said, my Alabama's backyard in the state of Alabama is huge for the long-term health of this program. Because if they can be consistently good at the quarterback position, you're looking at a Texas team that the baseline then becomes nine, 10 wins. And then you can build the program up to compete at a national level once again. 
but you have to have the quarterback situation stable. You have to have it settled. Texas has that in the short term with Ewers. I think they have it in the long term, most likely with Arch Manning, maybe with Murphy. We'll see how it shakes out. But if you look out into the out years, into the future, it looks like it's going to be really strong and stable there as well. I think this is a great job by Sark and company. And if I'm a Texas Longhorns fan, you have to feel amazing about the trajectory the program is on right now. Yeah, Nick, we talked about the trajectory of the program, but before we end the video, I want to give everybody a little taste of what this guy has done early on in his high school career. He had one of the best high school seasons in the country last year as a sophomore, completing 200 out of 314 passes. I think it was like 63.7% of his passes for over 3,200 yards, 40 touchdowns, only five interceptions. He led Sarah Land to an Alabama 6A state title. He just looked locked on, Nick. He has very good arm strength, good mechanics, and people have raved about his processing ability and mental maturity as a sophomore. This guy has been getting comps left and right as a Bryce Young style of player. So I'm really excited about this guy. I think if he keeps going the way he is going, he is going to be a major player on this Texas team.